So I'm gonna head over to the park, another uh, sit down session. Today's topic is what happened to my King Song S20? Happy Monday evening to you. I am on uh, day one of my first, well, the first day I would normally be working of my second staycation in a month. Those ATVers. Of course, I'm on an electric unicycle, so I guess I have nothing to complain about, right? All right, so let's, got the V11 here. Not sure when I rode the V11 last. Unlike a lot of people, I have not had any uh, issues recently with my, uh, oh shit, with my in-motion wheels. Uh, but it is an issue when you plan to go Dunkin' Donuts without your phone, because then you can't pay for your coffee. No phone, no wallet. That could be a problem. Okay, I'm more prepared now. I am more prepared. So what's going on, guys? Before I forget, I, I kept forgetting to mention this. I did mention this on my social media, uh, like Facebook and Instagram and stuff. All my social media, Twitter, it's all the same, Duff67. So yeah, if, you, if you're so inclined, feel free to check it out. But I wanted to mention that I got an email from the founder of Feedspot, F-E-E-D, Spot. And it seems like they, they rank podcasts, I guess. And the email I got said, congratulations, you're number 29 on the electric vehicle podcast list. And the list had 40, 40 podcasts on it, and I was number 29. So I don't know if that means a hill of beans, but I thought it was cool. All right, here we are. We're crossing traffic. This isn't the best time to do this because uh, it's rush hour. It's a little after 5 o'clock. Not the best time. So I've had a, a number of people follow up on, I mentioned uh, back in early March, I had my physical and, and during my physical, uh, one of the things that they did was a EKG. And uh, when they did that EKG, they said that I had uh, somewhat abnormal results. And they referred me to a car cardiologist and I, <laughs> it's taken a month and a half, but I finally did see the cardiologist today. First thing they did was they did another EKG. The, the guy that did it said, oh yeah, well sometimes, you know, they just don't have the leads right and that can make the results look uh, different or, or not good. And I'm like, okay, good, man. Hopefully that's all it is. So he hooked me up and it showed almost the exact same thing as my prior EKG a month and a half ago done at my, uh, that was done at my physical. So that wasn't exactly the news I wanted to hear. They, the uh, cardiologist himself then came in, talked to me. Uh, he looked at it and, and he said that, you know, if, if you just, if you look at a first glance, it would be indicator that you could have possibly had a minor heart attack. But he looked at me and he asked me questions about my lifestyle and health and, you know, and my family history. And he said that, you know, I shouldn't be at risk. So basically, uh, now I have three follow-up appointments. I am having an echocardiogram done, where they basically, it's, the way he described it, I think he said it's like an ultrasound of the heart, basically, that can tell if you did actually have a mini heart attack. It can confirm or rule that out, which would be helpful. Uh, a stress test and a vein test as well. He saw the, uh, the varicose veins I have in my right leg and he said, uh, yeah, we, let's do a vein test while we're at it. So, yep, having those three things done and then a follow-up appointment in mid-May or something like that. So, yeah, not great news, but that's the news. But I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. Man, the V11 just feels so smooth when compared to riding my um, non-suspension wheels. And the one wheel, for that matter. It just feels so smooth. Everything is a nice rolling hill. There, there's, there's no um, strong impacts. You see that guy riding side saddle on the bike over there? I don't know if you can see it. That's kind of cool. 
So I've already knocked out a number of things that were on my, my staycation to-do list. I think I have three things remaining. One of those three things is to finally get around to changing the tire on my old uh, one-wheel XR. Uh, I might try to tackle that tomorrow, I'm not quite sure. But it's kind of looking like a tomorrow thing, so we'll see how that goes. Should be fun. I'm going to use Jeff from uh, Float Life's video as a guide, and we'll see how it goes. He can do it in 20 minutes, so that means it'll probably take me two hours, but uh, life's all about challenges, right? Well, they did pretty good today. It's good. So I'm going to head over to the park, another uh, sit-down session. Today's topic is what happened to my King Song S20? It's a long and arduous tale. So if you want to hear it, stay tuned. Did I mention how smooth the V11 is? I mean, seriously, guys, if this thing had the top speed of a V12 and a 2000 watt hour battery, or more that's all i would need because it, it it feels great man on the road it feels great it really does i wouldn't even be uh jonesing for an s20 if the uh, v11 had a little better uh specs i was just at the park this morning with uh, elsa i got my morning coffee and uh, we stopped here to walk her around i walked her around here on uh sunday as well I really, I really tried to, or I need to try to get her out on a regular walking schedule, whether it be here or in the backyard, something. Because I think she spends pretty much her entire day just sleeping. You know, she's just, she's, she's not getting exercise like she needs. So I need to do what I can to change that situation. This uh, pavilion is right near where I ate shit on the one wheel. So it's, near and dear to my heart and uh, not many people come over here so it's a good spot to sit down uh, and shoot the shit. Okay, so the big question, where is my King Song S20? It's a good question. So basically I ordered my King Song S20 the first day that eWheels was taking deposits on them. I'd have to look at my email for that exact date, but I'm almost positive it was, um, up here comes someone walking around. I mean, can you just believe the gall of some people walking close to me when I'm filming? It's amazing. I'm just kidding, guys. Okay, so anyways, yeah, the, um, let's get this off. Ordered my S20 August of 2021. So that was, let's see, how long ago was that? August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, and let's just call April, pretty much gone, 10 months. When uh, that deposit was taken, the, the original uh, date that, that people were being told was, uh, yeah, hopefully by the end of the year, we'll, uh, we'll start shipping these things. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously that didn't happen. Uh, there was, tons and tons and tons of delays. Um, we were told that it was primarily because they were working out the details, ironically, of uh, getting a BMS to work correctly with a 126 volt power, uh, power delivery system. That was supposedly the, the main holdup in the, uh, the release of the S20. So the, uh, the days kept getting pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. Finally, and you know, we saw lots of uh, videos of people running the prototypes and you know, uh, they, they, it seems real cool. It was really building the, uh, the desire of everyone to get the wheel. So finally, right before Chinese New Year, I got word that, hey, and which is I think beginning in February, hey, the first 40 wheels that um, King Sog built for the public, not, not, the, not the wheels that went out on the demo circuit, I guess those are slightly older, um, but those, those 40 wheels are on the ship. They're on the ship. They're on the, they got them out before Chinese New Year. Great news. You know, within a month, you should probably have your wheel. Okay, great. Well, everyone's aware of shipping delays and, and uh, just how slow everything in the world economy is nowadays. I think they didn't, it landed, the ship landed at port in California the middle of March, I believe, something like that. Maybe the 10th, I don't remember the exact date. But then it was more than a week 
before the ship was even unloaded like, or cleared customs. It might have been like 10 days. It might have been two weeks. I, I don't know. It, it, everything was slow. But we got through it. The wheels were off. Um, all these uh, videos of uh, various people that were testing the S20, uh, a couple negative things. You know, you have the, um, you know, the weak bumper, uh, some questionable range, like Ian's range numbers were, were uh, strangely low. But for the most part, overwhelmingly, the feedback on the wheel was positive. And I'm like, oh man, awesome, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my wheel. Finally, I mean, good things come to those that wait, right? So then like a day or so, maybe two, prior to, you know, when, when I was hoping my wheel would get shipped out, I get an email from eWheel saying, oh, did you hear about this fire <laughs> in New York City? I'm like, no. So I, I got sent the, the video of the, uh, the fire that happened uh, in New York City with the S20 um, when uh, U-Stride was riding it. And then from uh, Sean's video, it gave some backstory how the wheel, I guess, was crashed at about 30 miles an hour. Prior to that, uh, U-Stride was, was doing maneuvers that um, people kind of knew that, that weren't, that it wasn't advised to do on the S20 as is, you know, because they had the, the limitation with uh, low end acceleration. You know, there's been some reports of people hammering it at, at uh, right off the line and the, and the wheel cutting out on them. So that was generally the, the uh, premise that people were going on. You shouldn't, you shouldn't hammer the wheel at, at low speeds based on uh, the current firmware, I guess. I guess King Song was aware of, of a potential issue there. So anyways, the wheel uh, cuts out, catches on fire, and uh, is probably the most spectacular, in a bad way, <laughs> EUC fire that anyone's ever seen. I mean, the thing, the thing went off like a nuclear bomb. It was, it was pretty intense. Of course, the entire internet saw it. Of course, everybody freaked out. And uh, my wheel was now on hold. My wheel that's, that was finally sitting in the E-Wheels warehouse is now on hold. So King Song, uh, at, least, at least from the accounts that, that I've heard, you know, kind of brought all hands on deck uh, to, to figure out what exactly happened to cause this fire. I believe the time frame was after five days, they posted a couple videos uh, the first video was showing the manufacturing process of the wheel, or I'm sorry, of the battery pack. What's, what's um, how the batteries are put together uh, to, I guess, reassure the public, you know, that very professional um, procedures are being used to assemble these batteries, including some like some bizarre robotic, robotic drop test device, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, but then they showed another video, and this is in, this is in uh, coordination with a, a, a a press release that they did as well. In the press re release, they said that they were able to um, recreate the scenario uh, that, that more than likely caused New York City fire. Um, they showed a picture of the, the nickel strips that connect the battery glowing, you know, because they, they, they applied a short and, and all that current went to the pack and did not cut off the pack like it's supposed to. So long story short, um, they basically said that, that this problem comes down to a, a firmware or software problem with the way that the wheel handled the direct short condition. Um, they claimed that they fixed it. They did uh, several video or they did a, a long video that showed uh, a wheel under a direct short, a prolonged direct short and momentary direct short. And in, in those videos, it showed that um, the situation was handled properly. Power was cut to the pack, which is what you want. They showed a momentary short and they showed the fuse instantly blowing which again is what you want you know that was that was another thing that failed in that new york city situation is the, the fuse uh did not uh pop either and there's some theories about that as well so anyways king song king song did this and uh, when i saw that i contacted e wheels and i said hey you know with with my with my um riding conditions riding style i'm not gonna ever be putting the wheel in a situation that could remotely uh, approach uh, what happened in New York City. I am 100% fine with applying the latest and greatest firmware that uh, fixes the issue, and uh, I'll take delivery of the wheel. I'll sign a waiver if, I, if, if that makes you feel better. And, um, and in, the, in the interim, King Song announced that I guess they're going to actually change the batteries. My impression was e-wheels and others in the community, they, they weren't satisfied 
with a software only fix. That, that wasn't going far enough. Uh, in their estimation, which um, I, I guess I can understand in some ways because you're talking about fire, but in other ways, we've had tons and tons of situations, dangerous situations in the past where uh, wheel problems were fixed by a firmware update. You know, there was something funky in the firmware that was causing issues and it was fixed that way. So this is, I mean, this is a, a spectacular um, example of it, but you know, they, they, they attribute it to firmware. But anyways, regardless, so King Song announced that they were going to change the batteries in the, in the battery pack. They were going to move from the LG cells, which have a lower discharge rate, to the Samsung 50, I don't know, or the LTs, MTs, I don't know. I, I don't have any notes here, obviously. But they were going to move to the higher discharge Samsung cells as a additional uh, safety precaution. And that was, that was based on pressure from e-wheels and other uh, dealers, I believe, to uh, make a change in addition to the firmware change. They've agreed to do that. So in the big picture, that's good news, right? I guess, you know, better batteries. I'm not sure how that's gonna affect the watt hours of the pack. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to affect the range of the wheel, but uh, hopefully it will result in an overall safer package. So you may ask, okay, all right, so what does that mean, Duff? When are you gonna get your wheel? It's still sitting in California. Um, I'm not quite sure. Uh, the last thing I was told was King Song is going to be producing these upgraded packs and send some out to dealers, including e-wheels. And my, my wheel will have one of these new packs installed. Last thing I heard was you know, hopefully by May, May or, or sometime in May, maybe by the end of May, I, I don't know. So, I mean, realistically, I'll be lucky if I, if I see my S20 by, uh, by June, probably. I mean, man, if it's only a couple more months, it would be a complete year, right? It'd be a, it'd be a, a total, a, a, a total of 365 days since I ordered the wheel. So, anyways, that's my long-winded answer to where is my King Song S20? It's uh, still in California. That's it. And I did also talk about this, um, well, somewhat in my live stream that I had uh, two weeks ago. So, if you really, if you really want long format, you know, four-hour live stream, uh, feel free to go check that out too. So while I patiently wait for my S20, you know, we have, we have people getting their first deliveries of uh, the Bagode Masters already. You know, a wheel that, that uh, was announced uh, months after the, after the S20. And uh, they're, they're getting into the hands of consumers already. You know, now it's going to be interesting to see, you know, to see if there's any uh, gotchas with the, uh, the Master, you know. Sure, it looks cool going up that really steep hill. We've seen, we've seen videos of it doing really cool things, but let's see uh, how it holds up in uh, real life. So hopefully it's great. But I guess my point there is um, I'm really tiring of, of what has become the, the, the typical um, electric unicycle buying experience where you put down a, a, a deposit and then you wait forever to, um, to get your, your wheel. I don't know, I might, I might need to adjust my my buying strategy in the future. And I do understand the caution, you know, with uh, that e-wheels and others have taken, you know, with, with the S20, I understand it. But I mean, when I look at the big picture, you know, there's how many wheels, S20s, that have been out there in the wild getting beat to hell, probably uh, totals of thousands of miles. They were not babied and not a single one had an incident like this. So. I don't know. That's better. So I should say, I mean, I, what I think the real problem is, is really with the manufacturer. You know, as, as um, critical as I've been of Bigod in the past, one thing I will tell, or I will say positive about them is when they announce a wheel, that means that it's gonna be available pretty soon, consistently. Whereas in motion, King Song, uh, that is not their track record. They announce these things far, far, far in advance, way before they're going to get in the hands of people, and it's really frustrating. And I think it's 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 a dumb business practice. You know, you're going to make people wait forever for something, and then even after they wait forever, it's it's not ready for prime time. I mean, they really got to rethink that.
because it, it, it's it's turn it's a it's a turn off. It turns me off. So if I, I hear feedback that you know people uh, are liking their masters and uh, you know they don't blow up, that might that might make me actually uh, soften my stance. Maybe buy my first pagode wheel in the first in the last three years or something. I don't I don't know. We'll see. So smooth. Will you stay on top of the Tesla? That is the question. Always forget how heavy this helmet is until I wear it a little bit. Oh. All right, guys. Sorry that was that was a long video, but the uh, the story about the my uh, S20 it's a long and twisting tail for sure. So, um, so video's long. Sorry about that. So, anyways, that's all I have, guys. If you found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel. Consider subscribing. If you're going to subscribe, you can hit the notify bell, which is over there somewhere. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts about uh, the S20. I know a lot of people, they canceled their order. They got sick of waiting. You know, why was our cop? He, he bought a hero. Um, Mike in Tampa, he bought a hero. He's going to probably get a master as well. He's, he's totally off the S20 bandwagon. And I think it's happened quite a bit, so it's unfortunate. But like I said, if there's anything that I would advise EC manufacturers to do, stop pitching us wheels before they're ready. Stop making us wait six, seven, eight months to be able to purchase something uh, that you're promoting. It's just, it's bad business. It builds ill will. And uh, yeah, just stop doing it. So that's all I have, guys. I'm sure you'll see me again this week doing something. But till then, next time, or until next time, stuff right now. Elsa? Is Amazon here? Oh my God. What are they doing? What's Amazon doing? What is it? Who's here? Who's here? Who is it? Is it Amazon? Is it Amazon? All right. That's awesome. Good job, baby. You saved this. Am I the only one that orders so much from Amazon that I like, I, I, I have amnesia. I, I swear to God, 75% of the time the box shows up and I'm like, oh, what is it? I have no idea. It's crazy. Huh? There must be some sort of medical condition or maybe it's just old age.